Hi, and welcome to South Arc's Campus Technology and Academic Support presentation for new student orientation. My name is Chelsea Turner and I work in the Academic Support Department and today we're going to talk about all the types of campus technology that you may use as a South Arc student. So I want to first start by explaining where academic support is located. Let me move my picture up. So this is the Thomas Administration Building and academic support is located on the first floor of this building. So um, once you walk in the Thomas Administration Building, the elevators will be on your right and then you'll see this sign that says academic support on your left across from the elevators and that's where um, our offices are located so we're suite 107 we have the same hours as the college monday through thursday 8 a.m to 5 30 p.m and friday 8 to noon if you need to contact us you can contact this number this rings to my office or you can email our entire department at distance learning at southark.edu so what does academic support do? We do a lot of things. We're kind of your one-stop shop before you have to get as deep into technology issues as like what IT would do. So we're a great place to come if you just got a brand new computer and you're not sure like what to do or where to start. Um, we're the perfect place to come if you're having issues with my campus. Um, how to log into your email or you're having any kind of issues with Blackboard or you just like don't know what those things are. What is my campus? What is Blackboard? Where is my email? Why should I be looking at these things? Where the place you need to stop? Okay, now let's talk about how to log in to all things South Arc. We follow a pretty basic format. We're going to start with your username. You have the same username across all platforms at South Arc. It starts with the first three letters of your first name and then the first three letters of your last name and the last four digits of your South Arc student ID. Your password is going to follow a very similar for format, capital S, capital A, asterisk, which is stands for South Arc Stars, and then your full student ID that starts with 777. So for example, if I was a student named Miley Cyrus and my student ID was 777012345, my username for my campus and Blackboard would be M-I-L-C-Y-R-2345. For my email, I would use that same username. I'm just going to add the at southark.edu when I'm logging into my email. My password for all three platforms will be the same, capital S, capital A, asterisk, 777012345. If you need help logging into any of these platforms, you need us to help identify your student ID um, or what your username format would be, please reach out to us. We can totally help you with that. So to access your email, to access all the things we're going to talk about, you're going to go to the South Arc homepage. Once you scroll down about halfway, you'll see South Arc email. And let's do that now. So this is your South Arc homepage. And you can see we have my campus, my FinAid, Blackboard, South Arc email, schedules, and now the work order system is here too. So if we are going to log into our email, we'll click this icon right here. Once you click on South Arc email, you'll be prompted to log in. I have a couple of accounts already in use, but you'll click the plus. You will log in with your South Arc the login with your South Arc email. And your South Arc password, remember that's the first three letters of your first name, first three letters of your last name, last four digits of your South Arc student ID, and then at southarc.edu. Your password will be capital S, capital A, asterisk, and then your full ID starting with 777. Once you're here, you can decide if you want this to show again or not and decide if you want to stay signed in or not. That's up to you. So once you're actually logged in, it looks like you are in your email because you clicked South Arc email, but you're in fact not in your email. You are in MS365, Microsoft 365. If you have ever used Google before, this is like your Google Drive. You're not actually in your email until you click on this Outlook icon right here. So to check your email, which you should be checking regularly, you'll need to click South Arc email here. Then you'll need to click Outlook here. Outlook is where your email is. So this is what your South Arc email should look like when you're logged into it. Remember, MS365, 
holds all of your documents, all of your Excel spreadsheets, your, it's where you get to Teams, your email is that Outlook app, and it's going to be how the school and your instructors are communicating with you. So make sure you're in Outlook. MS365 has Outlook, Teams, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Forms here. Um, and you can add other apps as well. You also, with your South Art tuition, have paid to be able to install these apps. And by these apps, I mean Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. You can download those to your computer. And I think you have up to eight devices that you can download those platforms to. Um, if it were me, just my personal recommendation, I prefer to work in the cloud so that no matter what device I'm on, I have access to all of the things I'm working on, whether it's an essay or a spreadsheet, I can access it from anywhere. So I prefer to work within MS365, but there are some features that you only get if you're in the downloaded apps. So just something to keep in mind. So going back to our presentation, you now know how to access your email. From the South Arc homepage, you'll make sure you click on South Arc email and then don't forget to click on Outlook. Some of your inboxes are filtered. If you noticed in my example, mine wasn't, but yours might be if you see the focused and the other part at the top. You can change that setting if you don't like it, but just know if you're searching for an email and you aren't seeing it in your focused view, it might be in that other tab. So just keep that in mind. We are going to access Blackboard in the same way that we would access our email by starting at the South Arc homepage at southarc.edu. And then from here, we'll click on the Blackboard part. When you're logging into Blackboard, this will be the landing page that you come to. This is a great video to watch if you're new to online learning. This will be where you log in. Your username, again, will be the same way as you logged into your email. You just won't include the at southarc.edu part. Um, and then this is an important link I want to make sure to point out. Um, you'll learn more about it in the actual course that you have in Blackboard called Campus Technology, where you'll get to test this out. But sometimes when you're at South Arc, you might have a proctored test. And we do that for online students through using Respondus Lockdown Browser. To download the latest version, you'll go to this link here and then download that. Again, there are more directions for that in Campus Technology. Once you're logged in to Blackboard, um, you have some student quick links um, that are really, we have some images of the school and just some helpful links for you guys here. You'll see your username next if we're looking at this left-hand menu bar. Your username does have some important areas I want to bring to your attention. Uh, you can upload a picture. I would recommend adding a picture, especially if you're an online student. Make sure they're school appropriate. It's a great way for your professor to get to know you in a face-to-face -face way when they don't actually get to see you face-to-face -face all the time. Um, you can also add a pronunciation. So if people have a hard time pronouncing your name, you can add a pronunciation here. Um, you can also set your notifications in your account tab, which is really important. So within your notifications, you can choose your stream notifications, which are over here. We'll look at that in just a second, your activity stream. You can also set your email notifications if you want to get one email once a day with everything or you want an email as soon as something is added or changed. And then you can also um, adjust your push notifications here and that would go to the app um, if you have the app on your phone. These would be what uh, kind of notifications you get there. So you can adjust those and hit save. Um, so I would first recommend a picture, next a pronunciation if you need to, and then look at your settings. The next part on our left-hand menu is the activity stream. Um, this is going to be kind of like social media for Blackboard. So anytime you had a grade or you maybe missed an assignment or an instructor has done something, it will put it here. These are past date items. Then we have upcoming items and my users in a lot of courses. So you'll see um, I have lots of things to read here. And then these are just recent things that happened. Um, if an instructor, it looks like this instructor recently added a lot of links. And so I can see those. But the most important tab in all of Blackboard is your courses tab. In fact, you'll probably log in and go straight to your courses tab every time. If you're having trouble seeing courses that you think you should see, it might be for the settings that you're on. So right now we're in current courses. 
Um, but sometimes you want to look at only your fall 2023 courses or maybe your spring courses. You can go here um, to look at those. You can also scroll down. You should be able to find everything that you need. Your view might be different. I'm in the grid view right now, but we also have the line view. So you can choose whichever view you like best. Um, and then you'll be able to click into your courses. Now you'll notice that this is my favorites tab. And so all of these courses are starred, which means I've designated them as a favorite. So they're pinned to the top of my Blackboard. If you want to make any of your courses a favorite, you just click that star and it pops it up to the, the top of your favorite list. And then if you don't want it there anymore, you can uncheck that star and it will move it down. Once you're in your course, we'll go through that really quickly. There's not a ton here. Um, it's it's pretty self-explanatory and easy to follow. Most instructors are going to have a start here folder and then instructors lay it out differently. Sometimes they have um, folders with content by units. Sometimes they have folders with weeks. Sometimes they have modules where it's force completion. So you have to complete the first part before you can move on to the next part. Um, however they want to set that up, your content is going to be in this main window here. Your instructor will be right here. And then your roster of everyone else in the class can be viewed here. Everyone has progress tracking on. So let me go to a student preview so you can see what that looks like. So progress tracking are these little circles here. And once you click into something, it, the circle should be half filled. And then once you've totally completed, it will have a green check mark. So um, once you viewed everything, and then you close out of it. This one will be half full. Um, and so then you can kind of, the it's called a progress tracker. So you can see uh, next time I log into this class, I can be like, okay, I've already looked at this. This is where I stopped and this is where I can pick up this time. So that's the idea of the progress tracker. You might have a collaborate session within your class. This would be like a Zoom session for your class. This is your class's like channel to do that asynchronous learning. Your instructor may take attendance and that would be here. If your instructor uses um, some course tools or books, those might be linked here. It depends on the course. If you are in um, a lab class, they sometimes will have their inclusive access linked here. If you have any questions about that, I would first recommend reaching out to your instructor and then obviously you can reach out to us and we can help you with that too. So that's your left-hand menu. You know that this middle area here is gonna be your content. Then there's just a few other tabs up here. We're gonna talk about your calendar has due dates for this specific class and you can look day or month view and if there's due dates that will be there. If the class has any announcements, they'll be here. Also, if this class has an announcement, it will pop up the first time that you log into the class. If there are discussion boards, those will be here. Your grade book, you would see your grades as a student. Um, there are there is a message feature where you can message classmates and your instructor through blackboard a lot of instructors prefer that you email them some do use the messages you just need to read your syllabus to know what they prefer so that is our um, basic quick blackboard class walkthrough so that was your courses tab we don't use a lot of organizations um, maybe in the future that would be like student groups your calendar is going to be, we just looked at this in the class view. Um, when you're on the main institution page, this is going to show due dates for every class that you're in and they'll be color coded when they're due, th different things your instructors have added to the calendar. This was that message feature. So if an instructor has messaged you or you've message, messaged an instructor, that will be here. And so you can access that there. This grades tab will show you your grades in each of your courses. Um, and you can click into, so if you see a grade and you, you want to know more about that assignment that just came through there, you can um, click on that. Like I could click here and it's going to jump me to that class and show me um, what's going on there. So you can see all your grades for all your classes here. And then you do also have a tools tab. This would be your evaluation kit is where you give your um course evaluations at the end of the semester, but that should also be a pop-up window, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. You're not an admin, so you don't see that, and then you have your sign out button here, so when you're finished, you can sign out. Okay, back to our presentation. So we've accessed our email and Blackboard. 
through our homepage on southark.edu. And we walked through how to find your courses. That's the most important part on that left-hand menu. Don't forget you have that line view and you have your grid view when you're looking at courses. Blackboard also has an app and you can download this if you have an Android phone or an Apple phone. This is what the app looks like right now. It's called Learn. Um, I can't recommend doing your coursework in the app, but I can say it's a great place to quickly write a discussion board or check your grades. Lastly, we're going to talk about my campus. My campus is where you'll go to pay your bill. It's where you'll look at your schedule. And there's a couple of other things you can do there, but those are the most important things I think that you'll be using my campus for. So again, you'll start at southark.edu and you'll click on my campus. You'll log in just like you logged into Blackboard, first three letters of your first name, first three letters of your last name, and the last four digits of your Southark student ID, same password that you've used everywhere, and you'll click log in. And just as a refresher, um, if you want to get to your MS365, which is kind of like the cloud of all your Microsoft things, you're going to access that by clicking on student email on the South Arc homepage. And that brings you here to your MS365. So again, if you're used to Google, that's like your Google Drive. And here you can have access to Outlook, which is your email, Teams, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Forms. You have access to all of that there. And don't forget, you can install the apps on, I think, up to eight devices. So if you have a laptop, a computer at home, you can go ahead and install those full apps. I know that's a lot of information. Our department is here to help you. So please reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you for being a student at South Arc where you're a star.